Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are rewind planning for the week of 14th to the 20th of May. And I'm going to be using this Aldous Luminous Paper Re-Kit. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, I'll have to look it up. But it's obviously an autumn kit, keep calm, it's fall. No one is you, that is your superpower. She always puts in sort of um, motivational quotes. It was so pretty and um, it's perfect because this week has been so autumn, so much rain, and it's been so good. I love it. And I'm going to be using this set of date covers this week. I'll show you all the bits and pieces. This is a old full kit. Well, they're not too old, but um, old enough. <laughs> um, and we get like two, you get a freebie and everything. And glitter headers, so let's get straight into it. I do love Little Miss Paper. I haven't shopped with her for a while, but um, I just haven't had the chance to do so. Just trying to decide if I want to bring in any washi, and I think I can bring in this white with gold bows skinny washi from Simply Gilded. I think it's probably the only color that's really going to match that is. I eat no color out of all of these because I don't have like a teal one and there is no orange one which is quite funny. I assume Irene is not a fan of orange <laughs> but you know not everyone is. That would make for a really cute Halloween release I think because the bottom washi is a bit skinnier so I'm just going to put this straight across the bottom line and then do the uh, white out the top line and do the white skinny washi. First, we have to uh, trim this. <laughs> I just use a slice tool and a ruler to cut that. Uh, I'm just using, as per usual, just semi printables, inserts. This is just the week on one page, which you can also get from So Much Crafting. I just wanted it now and undated. <laughs> so do that and then I will wipe these out. But yeah, so this week was super autumn. I got, I mean, stuff happened, but I got kind of in a funk with work and everything and just none of that worked out this week. But the new week has started and I'm feeling a lot better. But, uh, so you know, those bad times don't last forever. I think I was just kind of uh, depre I was super depressed this week, so. I don't think I'll be marking in when I, um, all the times that I cried in the shower, but. <laughs> Although, ironically, on. Sunday we started to watch the season 4 remix of Arrested Development and when I cry in the shower I just think of um, Tobias and his never nude crying in the shower but yeah, oh well. <laughs> so I don't have much to put in on Thursday so I think I'm going to put a full box up here. Just realized maybe I should put some glitter headers up. I think I'm going to put the orange because I like orange with um, autumn. See, so yeah, this kit comes with everything. Yeah, so I won't be marking in all the times I cried in the shower, but uh, it's just the best place to cry. Um, am, I, am I right, guys? I mean, I don't mean to be negative. I've got comments like that before, like... Like, stop being so negative, but it's not really that I'm being negative, it's just, I'm just, you know, life isn't all perfect. And sometimes you just cry a lot in the shower every day. <laughs> uh, when you're doing a PhD and you're mentally unhealthy. <laughs> I know, just thought I'd share my real life. Anyway, that bottom washi went down super easy, by the way, I should say. That's pretty good. So I didn't do anything Thursday morning, so 
I'm going to put this here. Keep calm, it's full because it's... I want to use this one. I want to use some more of the non-padded ones. They're kind of the same, but... Um, maybe another white light one. Is that how many I need? Yeah. So maybe we'll put this one... Uh, I'm going to put this down here. Because I got one thing on Friday night. Then I think, yes. Then I'll put this one. Wednesday. We'll put this sort of in the middle here. But further up. Oh, Heidi's back. Heidi is not too good today. She's a bit stinky in her butt, so. I'm sure you guys feel that if you have long-haired cats. Um, burp, burp, burp. Put this near the bottom too. It's on an angle as well. And put this sort of further down. Okay. Is that for full boxes? Looking nice and autumn-y. So I'm going to get the date covers. Just keep an eye on the time. <laughs> so I'm going to try and do like a little white gap because we have room. Alrighty, let's get started on our daily stuff. I did a lot of drawing this week. And I think these tablets from Happy Day are matchly, matchly well because they're like this greenish blue color. So I think I want to bring these in, in terms of um, drawing. Because I didn't know how many spreads up yet to bring these into. <laughs> Um, and then I did research. I have this adorable little reading Maru, which is a marshmallow from Paper and Milk. So I'm going to mark research with that little dude. He's so cute. He's got a little cup and a, and a uh, book. Love that. Then I got some School Prince Co. Happy Mail. So I am going to find... Yes, I put it on my sampler, in my sampler sticker book. I have these cute little wibbly wobbly fonts that say Scribble Prince for Happy Mail. And maybe I can do a layer with that. From the first $75 freebie. Um, that she did in the new format. She had these cute little blue bows so that might actually work in my favour. So I'll layer the bow on top. So I'm gonna like zoom in for you guys. So good. So this girl runs happy mail and has a little Andrea bow. I think it's easier to call it Andrea bow. <laughs> and then the main event of that whole day was that we binge watched first half of Shit's Creek season is it season four? Yeah. So this is a binge watch script from Paper and Milk. So I'm gonna put that down in the bottom middle. There you go. And I can write Shit's Creek up the top. Let me just tell you guys, I love Shit's Creek. It is so good. Like you have to say Shit's Creek, but um, when you talk about it, but uh, I just, it was so good and I love it's like, it's chill humor and it's kind of weird humor. So you can kind of just relax while watching it. It's easy to watch. And... Uh, sorry, looking at stickers. <laughs> it's easy to watch, it's so funny, and uh, I just love all the actors in it. <sighs> and 
so and they put in these really great romances in season four and I just I'm not gonna spoil it because you guys should be watching it and like it is so fast um, to binge watch Australian Netflix has all the seasons now so I highly recommend it uh, I think I'm gonna put a little half box to mention that we finished it the next day This orange one, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it slightly up. And I want to do this. Um, so, this is from a Once More Love fangirl sheet. We got a fangirl moment. And we have the little heart eyes. So happy, little munchkin. Because if you've finished season four, you know what I'm talking about. Like, okay, so there's all the stuff with David and Patrick, which I also loved. But. That very last like scene with Ted, I just, I literally got tears in my eyes. It was so beautiful and I was so happy for her. I'm like, oh my god, Ted, come through. So I had to put a bang on moment because that was the best season finale ever. I was just so uh, if you miss rom-coms that are really funny and witty and good, Shit's Creek. <laughs> I know it got kind of rom com -y, but it was so good. Ugh, I loved it. Loved it! Alright, so I'll shut up. Uh, but I'm going to use this whole label to say I also drew all day. And I use another one of my little Happy Day of Tablets. But yeah, um, I was like, because I was watching with Lachlan, so I didn't want to like, I totally wanted to squeal out loud, but I didn't because, ah, uh, but I held inside, but I just, uh, ah, I loved it. Um, <laughs> I just couldn't help it. Anyway, that night as well, after we finished the lovely Shits Creek, we had a big run in with a giant spider. Yep, a huge huntsman, like the size of my hand, uh, was on our was up near the ceiling, uh, in upstairs, and Heidi was trying to get at it, and it was so disgusting, and we did kill it. We got it with the I don't care. I don't care about spiders if they're outside, fine, but if they're in. My house and then the size of my freaking hand. No. No. <laughs> That's not happening. And it doesn't help that both Lachlan and I are afraid of um are afraid of spiders, so yeah, it didn't help. So we we're kind of just shrieking at each other and going, Oh my god, so gross! <laughs> So I've collected some once more with love munchkins here. I've got the nuh -uh, this like I think it's a migraine one or it's stressed out of her mind, but it's just like ah, and then the drama queen crying one because that's what we were like. So we sprayed it with a lot of poison and then we sucked it up with the vacuum cleaner. Ah, oh, but it was so uh no. The joy of living in Australia. I think it's because um, we have a balcony door at the upstairs and it doesn't have like anything underneath it to protect it from bugs getting in and so they just crawl out underneath and they're disgusting. Anyway, so I needed all those over the top munchkins for that giant spider. But it's dead now, we can move on with our lives. <laughs> uh, I'm still like nervous, nervous about it. Uh, so the main thing I did on Wednesday, I filmed Rewind Plan with me. I didn't realize I got all of these as well. It wasn't my main plan. It was my rewind planning that I filmed. Alright, I'm going to just use this, um, this little white TN from More SPC Scribble Prints Co. 
um, like three dollar Thursdays, and I'm gonna use this film glittery film script from Paper Princess Plans, uh, who's opening now again. So go 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 go! <laughs> Um, she has really cool white scripts, but I thought the white TM would be okay because there is a bit of white in here. And I think it's really cute, you know, because I drew it. But, <laughs> I don't know if, ugh. Anyway, I think it'll work well because it's nice and white. So, I filmed Rewind. Oh yeah, I was going to have to do a, another Munchkin Emotion because I... It, but this is probably my main bad day. So I'm just going to use this munchkin in a puddle of tears. And I'm going to put it over a little corner label that's orange. Because I would have, I would say I was having intrusive thoughts. It wasn't great. I'll be completely honest with you. I kind of wrote, wrote a suicide note in my head. Let's be real, put it all on the table. <laughs> this is what, you know, my life, but it was a very dramatic time for me, and it's like, I was just super stressed out. And, you know, it's like how my brain deals by going like, I'm dead now, I'm dying. <laughs> and I laugh about it because I have lived with it for many, many years, but that's the funness of mental health problems. But anyway, I had a good cry in the shower, calmed myself down, and then I played with stickers. <laughs> I went through the stickers that I want and washi that I wanted to de-stash. So I'm going to use this little um, wonton from Wanton in a Million with the orange bow and sticker sheets and just write that I had a de-stash and cheered myself up. And then, Wednesday, oh yes, I had to go on the YouTubes, I had to stay up so I could watch the new reformat video of Squirrel Prince Co, my fave of life. And Andrea did such a good job, I love the reformat, I'm really sad I won't be using those for quite a while. It also made me realize that uh, depending on when I leave next year, I'm going to be moving to the Northern Hemisphere. So I have to think about what kits I'm going to have to be keeping around or, I know, because the season's going to have completely change on me. So we'll see. But I'm so excited to get the new format. So, so cool. And she released an exclusive kit that I drew for her and I was really happy with. So, yeah. That was the first half of the week. I'm going to quickly shut this off, fill it out, and we'll be right back to continue the rest of the week. Okay, that is all filled out. Uh, on the paper, I use the Papermate Flare M, and on the stickers, I use the marking pen from Symboline. Um, just because I like I like fat writing with little Miss Papery kits. I think it turned out so cute. All right despite the sum of the subject matter. So let's get on to Thursday now. Kind of the week kind of goes. Actually I find, as I've said many times, Wednesday is like my bad day. Anyway, so then it kind of goes back up by the week weekend. I have like a literal hump day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't believe in those things, but I will. Oh my gosh, Heidi. Your big old butt. Do you want to see the Heidi butt? <laughs> Look, Heidi face. Oh, <laughs> she's like, nah, I don't want it. All right, come on. Oh, okay. Silly Heidi bum. All right. So on Thursday, I actually, really, now's not the time to dig in the box. All right, I had to lock Heidi out, so let's try and get this thing finished so she won't start crying at us. So on Thursday, I packed a whole, I bought a, I sold a whole bunch of D-Stash and packed all of them. So what do I want to use? Oh, I know, this cute little, little, um, 
ledger with hearts that comes from the kit to pack orders. Then I filmed again so I'm going to use the same things except this time I have the little plan thingy so I might use that as well. I might use a full box for that. Uh, a half box, sorry. <laughs> Just to take up some space. Oh, it's the same pattern. Ugh. Ugh. I know it's the same. This is the same pattern as the letter, but I wanted to use. Uh, more orange than the yellow that's in the kit. So I'm gonna put the film and a little plan, a little planner planner from there. All right, and then the rest of the night I kind of just drew. <laughs> oh yeah, and I tried to borrow. Let's see if there's like anything to do with. The this is a Pumpkin Paper Co. little emoji here with glasses and she's doing like a annoyed side eye kind of thing because I tried to borrow the second Harry Potter book and it's on loan at my uni library and I was just like who at university is borrowing Harry Potter books? Not, not, not talking about me, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> who? <laughs> oh well, it's fine. <laughs> I just had to wait. I requested it and they haven't returned it yet, so <sighs> hopefully they'll return it soon so I can read it. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> oh well. Just have to wait. Um, so Friday. Yeah, so Thursday was pretty much just, you know, drawing, drawing, filming, doing orders and stuff. Uh, still kind of recovering mentally. So on Friday I did some editing. So I'm going to use this little laptop from the kit. But I think I'm going to put it on a coda label. Just to sort of... Uh, so it's not orange and orange. Completely. Love the little laptops and it gets a little laptop to edit. Did some more drawing. This is me doing my um, Supernatural set which is out on Sunday. Or if you're watching this far in the future, it should be still on my shop. Uh, but we'll talk about that next rewind. Oh yeah, and the other thing is I was drawing that, but it was also the um, finale of supernatural that night. I don't think I can fit it in in a half box, but I just... This is a super old sheet from Fox and Cactus that she doesn't do anymore. It's a supernatural inspired set. So yep, I'm gonna put this and I put the little Dean down because of course the finale kind of was all about Dean in the end, but it was pretty... I mean, as finale goes, it wasn't the best one, but I am interested to see where they go with the next one. Um, they've certainly been playing like more risks this season. I thought overall it was a really good season, especially compared to the one before. So I actually really enjoyed it. It wasn't the best. I think the best one is the season when all the the finale when the angels fall. Sorry, it's like. A billion years old now so <laughs> I'm sorry if you haven't watched that part of, a, of a Supernatural yet but watching them like shoot through the sky like comets was really really awesome that was like the best finale for me but I'm ex excited to see where they go I hope they don't just give up on it after like five episodes <laughs> but you know we'll see I thought it was good overall and I can't believe like yeah the death that happened was insane uh, I'm gonna miss that actor because I actually really enjoy him as that character but anyway, I'll stop because you're like what are you talking about Jessica? 
And I'm trying not to spoil anything, you know. But watching Supernatural, we actually cooked a nice steak and some vegetables and mashed potatoes. Super yummy and like, I don't know, standard food. So I'm going to try and look for the steak in all my Happy Day of Food stickers. There you go. This is pretty much exactly what it looked like, except we had green beans and instead of asparagus. So yes, we cooked up a good steak. That was yummy and like, um, you know, simple, easy. <laughs> and then at the end of the night, I stayed up until 1.30am to get the Scribble Prints Co. new releases, the new reformat. Got everything I wanted then, so this is the new releases also from the Little Miss Paper Read kit. And overall it was an alright Friday. Yeah, I thought it was a really good Supernatural finale. And now I just have to wait till what, October for it to start again? It's not too long. This is why I was kind of hyped up to do my kit even though I wanted it to be like a Halloween kit but I had to do it early because of the season um, but luckily I didn't finish it until the end of the season so I could put in a reference to the start of season 14 it's been going for so long I still enjoy it so whatever <laughs> not everyone does but I do so now I'm going to put it that I drew like all day Saturday, so I'm going to use this half box that I ripped up before. i use another tablet from Happy Dare. Put that there. And I might as well do it on Sunday because I also did it then. <laughs> I actually finished the Supernatural set on Sunday, so I was really happy about that. Made progress. So the rest of Saturday I did laundry and we got two laundry days and it's pretty good because we did like lots of laundry both weekend days. So both of the, these days are kind of the same <laughs> except what we watched on TV after all of this. So I put in both laundry days. Super cute from the set. And then on Saturday, I just watched a bunch of things to do with um, this game I'm really looking forward to. It's a sim game, simulation game, not a sim sim game. And it is called Two Point Hospital. And it's by the original dev team who did well, mostly the original dev team who did Theme Hospital, which is one of my favorite childhood games. So I was watching all the videos about Two Point Hospital because I am so stoked. I am so excited to watch it, uh, watch it, play it. Uh, I just I love like more older style sim games, simulation games. So hopefully they do more like their theme park was awesome too. And then finally, on Sunday night, Lachlan and I were re-watching the remix of Arrested Development Season 4. Technically at the moment, Australia is not getting Arrested Development Season 5 because of crappy deals with our, our sole cable provider who are the worst. They're owned by Murdoch, so... That's all you need to know about that, but um, yeah, so they claim to have the rights to those seasons and not Netflix here. So I don't know when I'll get to watch season five of Rest of Development, but we're re watching the, we watched the season four when it came out, but now we're watching the remix, but I still prefer the original season four. I liked having one episode per character, well it ends up with two I think for most of them. Because I like the long running running jokes and like having and when things piece together it's so much better but ah oh well plus they've been taking out certain jokes from in the remix that I don't like like they took out one of um, Lucille ones like 
I did a pun, which I is my favorite running joke of the new season. But they took out one of her puns, like I did a pun lines, and I was like, no, <laughs> this is not funnier. <laughs> but anyway, that's my personal opinion about it. I'm gonna fill out this half and we'll finish up. Okay, that is the finished spread, you guys. Uh, let me know what you thought down below. I think it looks really fun and autumn. This is also the very middle of this um, insert, which is cool. But yeah, I think this turned out so good, and I do love Little Miss Paper Reese kits. She gives you stickers for like everything. <laughs> I just had to do a lot of emotions this this week. But the week is finally behind me and we're starting off all positive so I'm looking forward to the next rewind. If you liked it please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye!